And that's just you being alive, being present and reacting to your own life because you are blessed enough to be alive and be experiencing something. Be grateful for that, acknowledge that, and let it go. But first, you have to sit in it. Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hey kids, let's talk about depression. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the... Uh, uh. Depression isn't funny, but I laugh and smile and make jokes when I'm deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> so this is gonna be a quippy vid. I can just feel it. And I have my emotional support llama right here. You may or may not have noticed I've been gone for a few weeks and uh, that's because I sank. And sinking is my personal way of describing um, being depressed uh, and I think it is really important uh, because I have this platform I have this audience which is so near and dear to my heart to talk about something that is much more common and natural than I think is really talked about and I want you to know that you're not alone that is a theme in all of these videos is that you're not alone so for me i'm coming out of it i can feel myself becoming more and more my usual chipper self um and that is because of the following techniques i will be telling you about but in order to keep this video light and not depressing even though it's about depression um I'm going to be doing one of those things that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. That is applying a face mask because self-care is real and I want you to know that it's valid. And also it's really fun to put on a mask and I just want you guys to go along with me on this journey. Today's video is actually sponsored and the only reason I would put an item in one of these talks in particular is because I actually believe in it. <laughs> Sorry, there's that, there's that uncomfortable laughing again. I hope you can tell the difference. I will be putting on this detox mask, which is the green tea blend detox mask, because you know when you see those ladies in like sitcoms and stuff, and they're just like sitting w in their bubble bath with a glass of wine and some kind of crazy colored concoction on their face? Me. <laughs> so the thing about this mask is that it has matcha, which I've been struggling not to eat this because I love matcha, um, lemongrass, and bentonite clay. And for my natural hair girls, you know that bentonite clay in particular has an all over detoxifying, just help you, help your hair, help your skin. I bet you can eat it, but don't eat it. And it's just a detox mask. It makes your skin like super supple and clear afterwards. So here's my before. Hey. Hey there. This is my before skin. She's picked up a few new haters. She's picked up a few new scars. But I just washed my face so we're looking good and dry. Mostly on my forehead and cheeks and I'm just like, oh, I'm like drying out right now. So let's get this on my face. Some aloe vera juice. <laughs> to keep all my hair out of my face. <laughs> Hi, I'm a bear. <laughs> Just gonna dampen again. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh. It's got like a lemon kind of overtone, and then of course the matcha is like so. Okay, I might eat. I, I might eat this. So. <laughs> Nothing. Being depressed for a temporary period is what I have been experiencing. It is normal to have depressive episodes, especially when triggered by something like extreme oh, differences in lifestyle, um, problems with your 
self-image, your self-worth, um, breakups, uh, and for me, loss. So don't think that you're alone. You're literally never alone. Because believe you me, I know it is so hard to lose your chipper attitude for any amount of time at all. Um, and here are some tips on how I get out of um, a depressive episode because I'm up in the upswing now and thank God. Um, I find that when I am extremely sad, I feel like I am nailed to the floor, all is lost, I get I don't just get in my feelings, my feelings get in me. And it's just this cyclical, horrible, <laughs> seemingly endless void of this is you now. This is all you will ever know. <laughs> um, and that's just, it's not the case, guys. And I find um, that the most important thing about surviving and doing your absolute best while in a depressive episode is to validate your feelings and let yourself feel it. Don't lean into it very distinct, but allowing your feelings to be present and valid is the only way to get past them if you're trying to be healthy on the other side. I am very, very, very guilty of denying my feelings, bottling up my feelings, dismissing my feelings, especially sadness. I will push it to the bottom of my conscious and pretend like everything is a-okay. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I developed that, but that's how I am now. But it's not how I choose to be. So when you feel it coming, and you can always feel it coming, sit with that sadness. Don't push it to the side. Sit with that sadness. If you're in a place where you can, like physically, you have the time to do this, Dealing with it later is not the same thing as dismissing it, very important. If you have the time to sit with that sadness, you better sit with that sadness. Um, a technique I have learned uh, in therapy is to acknowledge what it is. That emotion is there for a reason. Your emotions are not here to punish you. They are here usually to try and help you cope with something, acknowledge something, move forward past something, but you have to sit in that first and identify why you are here in the first place. And that is where I struggled the most and I'm sure some of you have struggled as well. So you have to do the hardest part, which is be honest with yourself. Once you're honest with yourself, you will find the root of that sadness and acknowledge that it's okay to be sad. You're sad for a reason, hun. You know it. Let yourself feel it. Don't sink into it. Don't lean into it. Don't let sadness turn to woe. Don't let sadness and a depressive episode turn into a spiral. But acknowledge that you're sad and you're sad for a reason. And that's okay. It's okay to be sad. Do you know that? Because I didn't. I'm here to tell you. It's okay to be sad. It really is. It's okay. That sadness is trying to do something for you. It's trying to root you in how you really feel about how something went down. You're actually very sad that this thing didn't work out or that person is gone or that person won't leave or... <laughs> um, any manner of things. And that's just you being alive, being present and reacting to your own life because you are blessed enough to be alive and be experiencing something. Be grateful for that, acknowledge that, and let it go. But first, you have to sit in it. You can do it. I have faith in you because I'm literally the worst at it. So I can do it. I know you can. <laughs>
Also, can we just talk about this mask? Like, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Another tip, because um, for me, something very important to recognize is that sometimes it doesn't just take one sitting of sitting to get past something. That is also very normal. Um, case in point, I'm a deeply feeling person. I'm not just going to get over it in a couple hours. Um, if it's enough to send me into, into a depressive state, it was big and it meant a lot and it's going to take some time for me to move past it. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> in that time that I know I'm going to be sad off and on, I'm going to acknowledge my sadness every time. I'm going to see if there's anything new that's being added to it. Have I recognized some other aspect of the situation that is contributing to my sadness? What is it? What can I do about it? Is there anything I can do about it? It's n is it my fault? Is it not my fault? What am I going to do? And then dismiss it. You're good. Like, thank you, sadness. You're trying to ground me. I release you. Like, go straight magical girl on them. I release you. And in that time that I know, just because I know myself, I'm going to have ups and downs because that's what life is, a series of ups and downs. And I'm going to be okay sometimes and I'm not going to be okay sometimes. And in that time, I practice as much self-care as possible. I bust out every bougie thing I own and I treat myself nicely. Which is why <laughs> matcha smelling good like lemons, detoxifying, bringing out all the impurities and the ridiculousness, the BS out of my pores. Because <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I do break out, it's because of stress and that is why I'm using this mask because I know it's going to be freaking counteractive because it doesn't dry out your skin, but it also helps with breakouts. So you don't have them at often. <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> Cause I scar easily. So if I can just avoid having a breakout because of my stress or my sadness or me not drinking enough water cause I'm sad, um, I'm gonna do that. So I put this on my face. I'm like, don't break out. Don't you do it. I'm gonna be mad. And like for real, for real, I have extremely sensitive skin, but it's not sensitive to products. It's sensitive to my own emotions. So if I can get rid of an emotional breakout by preventing that emotional breakout, I'm going to do it. And it's not even that expensive. Get all those products that make you feel happy. Get everything you got and throw it at this depressive episode. You have to remind yourself that even though you're sad, it's temporary and you gotta cheer yourself up. Do things that make you happy. Do bougie things. Give yourself some love so you know that it's not going to last forever. I'd be such a cute alien. Can we agree? Comment the alien emoji. <laughs> oh, also, this is my little paddle thing. It does not come with this. And I'm not saying that this is the only thing bougie you can do, but for me, it's been saving me. I've been sniffing on it because it smells really good. And I've been using it like a couple of times a week because it doesn't like piss your skin off. And if you're interested, you can use the code STARPUPPY at Teamy and grab this up for yourself. Some other suggestions, I be reading books, I be reading manga, <laughs> and if it's super bad, I will go to my number one. I will watch either Digimon or some other nostalgia ridden show to remind myself that I do have happiness in this life and that no matter what is happening right now, I can always find joy. Joy will find me again. I'm not going to be sad forever. And even though it definitely feels like that, you know it's not true. Deep down, you know you're going to be happy again. You will. I'm not saying rush past your sadness, but acknowledge that sadness is not you. You are not your depression at that moment. That's not it. That's not you. That's not you. Well, another excellent entry in Danielle looking completely normal while talking about extremely heavy topics. So I'm gonna let this dry. I 
I tried to smile. <laughs> so, for the most part, you can see it's dry. There are little places that are still a bit damp. But I'm impatient. Hello? Mmm, I'm covering in expensive creams. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm happy to be back. Thanks for being patient with me. Once I have some serious distance from this situation, I may or may not, no promises, uh, may tell you what all went down. Um, but maybe I never will. And I think that's all right. <laughs> so I upload on Saturdays most of the time and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you later. Say it with me now, Star Puppy. Away! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.